Ciao a tutti, my name is Stefano and today I'm going to show you how to take a photo from here to there. Just adding some blur to the background and sharpening the subject, but let's get straight into it. No time to waste today. And here I am on my desk now. I got this photo from this lady in dark table in the dark room view. I want just to show you how to add the blur in the background and how to expose a little bit better this photo. Now this lady clearly needs a little bit of exposure because it's way too dark and that's easy to do because you can add an exposure uh, module and you can increase a little bit of exposure in order to take out all of the details of his amazing face. I want to do that only to the lady, so I'm gonna build a parametric mask that follows the lady here. I use a parametric mask because I think it's the quickest way to build the mask, especially in this case, but let's do that straight away. Now I use parametric mask and I, I can do a very easy job with the art brush, so... And that's pretty much it. I just do the mask into the lady. Now you see that in few parts is not totally precise, obviously here and there. So what I do, I just work on the mask with a parametric view and I just close up a little bit here and I'm gonna add a little bit of mask blur just to go into the detail. And I go down here and that's pretty much it. So you see, before and after, before and after. Now what I want to do is to add a second mask in order to blur the background here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same mask as before, but I'm gonna toggle the polarity. Now let's go and grab my soften module here. I activate it, as you see, when I activate it, it's gonna soft the old photos, but I just want to activate the background of the foreground here. So again, I'm gonna use the parametric mask. I'm gonna use the same shape as I used before in exposure. And then I'm gonna toggle the polarity. And you see that it's softening all of the background and also the foreground. Let's see the mask, if we can correct a little bit here. And it's nicely done because it's gonna go all of these details here and there. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you want to increase the softening on uh, uh, this mask, you can do that, increasing the size here. And uh, you can also dark up the background in this case in order to give more importance to my subject, which is great. And what I like to do with the softer module is also to uh, take down the saturation. You see the saturation here is much lower. And there is a little bit to work here uh, because uh, there is a part that is out and what I can do easily enough, I select again the mask. So let's see a before and after, before and after. And that's pretty much it about blurring the background and trying to take out the details into my subject with the exposure. I can add also a little bit of a contrast only to the face, so I activate the module and uh, I want to add the contrast only here and guess what, we have already a mask for that, which is the one that I use for the exposure. So I'm gonna go there and just do activate that mask and you see that the work is done just on that. And let's see if before and after for this photo, I uh, do a snapshot here. Here it is before and after before and after. And I want to show you also a little bit of follow-up on this editing that I did previously on this photo here. And uh, there is much more than before. And what I did is uh, to add a little bit of light on the right side. So, and uh, a little bit more of a darker on the left side. So, and I took out more of the details. As you see here in the history stack, I've done some work. And if you're interested in the work I've done for this photo, just add a comment and I'm gonna show you in the next video. And that's it about this photo and I'll see you in the next video.